is up you guys welcome back to another one if you're new to the channel i am gold pointing out the new car truck suv reviews on youtube and today we're in the brand new 2024 bmw 430i coupe courtesy of apple bmw in york pa for more information on their inventory please feel free to check out the link in the description box below so today we're in this one because it is a coupe it is absolutely amazing styling there is some new tech available for the 2024 430i coupe as well and you do get an above average warranty kind of with this thing as well you get four years or 50,000 mile bumper to bumper warranty so that's pretty cool too but ultimately in this video we will be testing out and going over everything about this one from acceleration to braking steering feel ride quality sound system exhaust clip all that fun stuff so having said all of that what do you guys say let's just go ahead and jump right into it and as always let's start with pricing and so as you can imagine there are a couple different configurations for the 2024 430i coupe first one being the rear wheel drive version starting at forty nine thousand nine hundred dollars then you have the x drive all-wheel drive going for fifty one thousand nine hundred dollars but regardless of the configuration that you go with the power plant on this thing is going to be the same powering the beast is a two liter twin power turbocharged inline four cylinder putting out 255 horsepower at 5,000 rpm 295 pound feet of torque coming in at right around 1500 rpm power sent to the rear wheels or all wheels through an eight speed automatic with paddle shifters and launch control so we'll test out those paddle shifters here in a little bit but zero to 60 time coming in at approximately 5.5 seconds for the rear wheel drive 5.3 then for the all wheel drive top speed if you're interested a respectable 155 miles per hour with mpg numbers coming in at 25 in the city 34 on the highway for the rear wheel drive 23 city 33 then on the highway for the all wheel drive taking pre premium unleaded fuel and so before we do any kind of fun acceleration tests here in the 430i coupe i wanted to mention to you guys the drive modes and so there is a couple of buttons located directly behind that engine start button those drive modes will include eco pro comfort sport and sport plus adjusting things like the shift points the throttle response and the steering sensitivity and so now that we got all of that out of the way what do you guys say let's go ahead and find a straightaway let's put this 430i coupe here to the test and let's see how quickly we can get this one here up to speed all right let's go ahead and do a quick little paddle shifter test here first pulling out onto the road got it in manual shift mode it says i'm in first gear go ah just switched gears for me they're quick though <laughs> they are dang quick when it's actually in the paddle shifter mode these things are dang quick but having said that because i didn't shift there at the beginning it did automatically throw me into that automatic mode again so yeah, that kind of sucks, but when you're using them, they're fun. They are fun, so I will say that. BMW crushed it with the paddle shifters, but now let's go ahead and give back full control here to the 430i, because it already did it. Let's go ahead and find a straightaway. Let's let the car actually do all the work here, and let's see how quickly we can get this one here up to speed. All right, got into sport driving mode. A little bit of an uphill roll here, but I think this thing can handle it. In three, two, one, go. There it is. It's fine. Yeah, that's plenty of an acceleration. You're certainly not going to have any issues emerging onto the highway, so that is fun. I do not mind that acceleration. It's as you would expect to find from a BMW, so anyways to go along with that acceleration as always braking is equally important so the braking is probably the first thing that i actually noticed when i first got into this one because it bites hard man so i immediately since there's no one behind us it just immediately brings you to a stop four-wheel ventilated disc brakes of course do come standard so excellent braking feel on the 430i coupe without a doubt but then touching on suspension and handling up front you're going to get a double pivot type front suspension in the back five link rear suspension twin tube gas pressurized shock absorbers dynamic handling package that goes for two thousand dollars that uh that it's an available option that gives you improved suspension geometry for a little bit less lean i did want to also mention though with the m sport package that we have today we do have an m suspension so it's tailored for a little better handling essentially and one option that i always like to mention when it's available is there is an adaptive damping suspension available that goes for 550 dollars but that is an option I always like to recommend because that really gives you the best of both worlds. So what it does is it monitors each shock absorber individually, not only adjusting to the road imperfections, giving you a smoother ride, but it also tightens up that suspension during heavy cornering, giving you better handling as well. So again, best of both worlds there. So that is definitely something I like to recommend it for only 550 bucks. A lot of times that particular suspension on other manufacturers is like $2,000. So for 550, 
I'd say get it in the 430i coupe without a doubt. But anyways, then touching on visibility, looking at my rear view mirror at least, I can see perfectly fine out the back. So no issues with the shape of this vehicle. You're definitely not gonna have any issues with rear visibility. Rain sensing windshield wipers though, touching on forward visibility, they actually do come standard on this thing. So whenever it detects any kind of mist or rainfall, it's gonna automatically turn on those windshield wipers for you. So I do like that as well. And there is a premium package available that does give you a head up display. We do have that. So right now on my windshield, Shield, I'm looking at my speed, speed limit, and safety features. And actually, the cool thing about this head up display is it does adjust slightly the look of it, depending upon the drive mode that you put it in. So, I always think that's pretty cool with BMW as well. But that pretty much rounds out the performance segment of this review, you guys. Let's now go ahead and take a look at the exterior of our brand new 2024 BMW 430i Coupe. All right, so here she is, you guys, the new 2024 BMW 430i Coupe, finished in Portimao Blue Metallic, which, by the way, is a $650 paint option in case you were interested. But as always, let's go ahead and start with where this one is made. Taking a look at the VIN, first character is the letter W, indicating that the new 2024 430i Coupe is built and assembled in Germany. Gotta love it, but... Let's go ahead and start up front on this one. Satin aluminum exterior trim does come standard. You guys can see that around the grill there. Front air curtains down to the sides, helping direct air around the wheel and tire combination, of course. M Sport package we do have today, so I wanted to touch on that real quickly. $2,550 is the cost of that. That does give you more aggressive styling, including the wheels actually as well. You get an M Sport suspension, some added safety, a special steering wheel, bunch of stuff comes with that package, but I do love it. I think it gives it a much more aggressive look, especially up front at least to the sides led headlights with led daytime running lights do come standard you do get the automatic feature with that meaning when it starts to get dark at night the headlights will turn on automatically for you there also automatic high beams do come standard as well so if you have your high beams on at night senses the vehicle coming in the opposite direction it's going to automatically pull them back to low beams then when that vehicle is gone it's going to automatically bounce it back up the high beams for you there so definitely a very convenient feature there my wife particularly loves that one but icon adaptive led headlights that are available for an additional one thousand dollars what that gives you is not only a little bit of added illumination at night but when you're going around a bend at night the headlights are going to swivel based on the direction of your steering angle better help illuminating what is around that bend so it's really a safety feature in itself there so that is available as well but overall i know everyone was iffy when this vertical look came out i personally like it i think it looks absolutely amazing amazing up front but that pretty much does round out the front end let's now go ahead and make our way to the side all right so but now since we are around to the side of the 430i here chrome or gloss black window surrounds do come standard gloss black of course being with that m sport package that we have today taking a look at the side mirrors they are body colored power adjustable side mirrors they will get led integrated turn signals they will be heated and they are power folding actually as well you gotta love that then take a look down at the wheel setup 18 inch alloys do come standard 19 inch M specific alloys for the M Sport package that we have today, but I will say there are plenty of 19 inch alloy wheel packages available, or really options, I should say, for the 430i Coupe as well. So, tons of them. You can check them out on BMW's website if you want to, but pretty much rounds out the side profile. Let's now go ahead and make our way to the back. All right, so now since we are around to the back of this one, all the way to the top, body colored shark fin antenna. Just below that, that rear spoiler you guys are looking at, the deck lid spoiler, that is going to come with the M Sport package only if you don't go with the m sport package that is not going to be there so just envision the 430i coupe without that rear spoiler basically but anyways led taillights they are super bright they do come standard of course gotta love that you do get a more aggressive rear bumper with the m sport package that we have today also gloss black rear diffuser in the bottom there again only with the m sport package but to the sides there you will find dual exhaust outlets with chrome tips that does come standard either way so Having said that, I do believe you guys know what we have to do next here. As always, here is that exhaust clip. Alright, so now since we are around to the back of this one, when it comes to opening that rear trunk, there is a button on the key fob, but there is a button, of course, on the trunk itself then as well. But 
Once opened up, cargo capacity comes in at 16.6 cubic feet. If that was not enough space, there are some levers in that cargo area. You can fold down those rear seats, bumping that up to 45.6 cubic feet. It actually isn't that bad for a coupe, but there is a good bit going on back there. You do have some tie down anchors. You got a couple grocery bag hooks then as well. And there is a bit of indented netted storage in the corner there as well. But then make our way up to the rear legroom. That is going to come in at 34.5 inches. Again, not too bad for a two plus two seater here. For reference, I'll give it a shot. I mean, even six feet tall. This is how much space I had back there. But to my surprise, there was a lot going on for the rear passengers as well. So even though this is a two plus two, they do get rear ventilation back there. They actually can set their own temperature. There's tri-zone climate control. So that was pretty impressive. There is a rear center armrest with cup holders then for them as well. And those are two things that you typically don't find in coupes. So did want to emphasize that. So then making our way up to the front seats, power adjustable front seats with two-way power side bolsters do come standard. Memory settings come Coming standard as well. Sensitec upholstery coming standard. However, a Vernasca leather is available for $1,500 if you wanted that. Lumbar support goes for $750 if you were to go with the convenience package. It does give you other things as well, of course. Heated front seats going for $500 as a standalone option or coming standard with the premium package for $2,100. Overall seating was 100% perfectly fine. Absolutely no issues with the seat comfort whatsoever. I love the vertical seams, so plenty adjustable in this thing. I was a big fan. But then take a look at the steering wheel. It is tilt and telescoping. It is leather wrapped and you do get an M Sport thicker steering wheel like I was mentioning when we were going over the exterior there. And the 10 and 2 grips are absolutely massive. I love that. I like the M logo towards the bottom and then a heated steering wheel that is available for an additional $200. It's going to be located just above that M logo there as well. But now let's go ahead and make our way to the startup. Let me start by showing you guys the key here. All of your buttons are located on one side. Since we have the M Sport package, we do have an M Sport specific key. So you got those colors on the side, but lock, unlock that button to pop the rear trunk there. The lock button, of course, is the BMW logo, but it is all keyless entry with a push button start. So all I'm going to do here is simply put my front of the brake and press that silver engine start button located just to the left of, I guess you can call it the shifter there. And so once started up, as far as the gauges go, 12.3 inch digital gauge cluster does come standard. That is new for 2024. So I absolutely love that. It looks really good up there. And when you change the drive mode, of course, it will adjust the colors up there as well, which is pretty cool. You put it in that Eco Pro mode, it's gonna give you kind of like these blue hues. You put it in comfort, it's gonna give you kind of tan hues. And then sport, of course, is going to be red. So overall, the gauges look absolutely amazing. I like the large digital speedometer, how many miles you have left until you hit empty outside temperature. The list goes on. Pretty much everything you possibly want up there. But now let's go ahead and make our way to overall interior quality. A power glass moonroof does come standard gotta love that anthracite headliner coming standard as well you got universal garage door openers for up to three different garage doors found on the bottom portion of that frameless rear view mirror there by the way rear view mirror is auto dimming as well multi-zone climate control like i was saying tri-zone climate control driver passenger and rear passengers can all set their own individual temperatures you do have multi-color ambient lighting not as much as it used to be it used to be i think 64 different colors now i feel like it's like 8 to 12 i didn't count them but i put it on flamingo so so I wanted to feel a little more tropical in here because it's freezing outside today. Got the oak wood trim coming standard as well on the interior. And by the way, interior quality is absolutely amazing. I love it. I love all the soft touch material, the contrast stitching, the two-tone color theme along with the wood trim looks absolutely amazing as well. But just to continue on here, you do have a wireless phone charger found all the way up front here. Just behind that, you have dual cup holders there, 12 volt power outlet. Then the center armrest, eh, there's a decent amount of space in there. You do have a little light in there too and a USB charging port. So overall, as always, BMW crushes it with your interior quality. But let's now go ahead and make our way to the infotainment screen because this is new for 2024 as well. This is a 14.9 inch infotainment screen. You get Bluetooth and audio streaming, Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, factory navigation system coming standard as well. You can check out your climate control information up there. You can check out your ambient lighting settings like I was just telling you guys. There is a ton, really. You could check out up here. You can adjust all the settings for the car, basically. You can check out your radio information, of course, as well. There is a 10 speaker sound system with 205 watts that comes standard but there is a Harman Kardon sound system optional that we have with us here today so having said that what do you guys say let's go ahead and turn on the radio let's see what we got playing today and let's test out the clarity of our Harman Kardon sound system that we have with us here today
It's incredible. That's an incredible sound system. Without a doubt, there is a ton of bass. The bass was rumbling the seat. Not too much where it's rattling anything, of course, but it was rumbling the seat like a massaging seat. The clarity was crystal clear. It felt like I was at a concert. I hope that came through my Rode mic there because that was an absolutely incredible sound system. 100% go with the Harman Kardon that we have with us here today. But anyways, last thing I want to mention to you guys on that infotainment screen is when you do put the 430i in reverse, you will find a rear view camera coming standard across the board surround view monitor is going to be optional i love all the views that it gives you that's pretty cool but as always that is going to lead us into safety and so usually i first start by mentioning iihs this one has not yet been tested by iihs so we're going to go ahead and skip that one front side side curtain airbags do come standard driver and passenger knee airbags up front as well in the back you're going to have latch aka lower anchors and tethers for children for the rear car seats tire pressure monitoring system but also coming standard adaptive cruise control front and rear parking sensor I love that in this car. Frontal collision warning, active blind spot detection, lane departure warning, speed limit recognition, and a BMW assist e-call system. So essentially what that is, is if this thing were to get into an accident, it's going to automatically, the car is going to call you and ask you if you need an ambulance or a police or whatever the case. So that's pretty convenient there as well. So overall, when it comes to my final thoughts here of this 430i Coupe, I love the styling. It's definitely going to stand out, especially in this color that we have today. So overall, great looks great mpgs actually for the class as well if i'm being honest this thing is plenty quick by the way so i love the quickness but with the mpgs that comes with it that's kind of surprising you usually don't find those mpgs with a car that is this quick i also love the new tech as well so they're like curved screens towards the driver the tech at least is focused towards the driver it's more driver centric and it looks absolutely amazing including that head-up display as well that i'm looking at the sound system at least the Harman Kardon, is absolutely amazing as well i'm trying to find something that i really don't like about this if anything if i were to be nitpicky i would say put more ambient lighting colors like the 64 that you used to have the 8 to 10 or 12 is nice but i liked when, when there was more choices i'm just saying but anyways let me know what you guys think of the new 2024 430 iCube in the comments section below but that is about it for this one you guys thank you so much for watching feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen if you want to see what's coming next on the channel before it gets to youtube be sure to hit the subscribe with the bell notification button if you're into new car reviews because that's what we do here on this channel after all do appreciate you guys watching more than you know and i will see you guys all in the next video, stay gold.